uh, he's actually addressing the media in front of his plane. It may be hard to hear, but we're going to try to listen in. Go too far. Did Arizona go too far? Yeah, they did, and that'll be straightened out. And uh, as you know, it's all about states' rights. That'll be straightened out. And I'm sure that the governor and everybody else are going to bring it back into reason, and that will be taken care of, I think, very quickly. What do you think about Florida? Uh, Florida's Florida is probably maybe going to change also. See, it's all about the, the will of the people. This is what I've been saying. It's a perfect system. So for 52 years, people have wanted to end Roe v. Wade to get it back to the states. We did that. It was an incredible thing, an incredible achievement. We did that. And now the states have it, and the states are putting out what they want. It's the will of the people. So Florida's probably going to change. Uh, Arizona's going to definitely change. Everybody wants that to happen. And you're getting the will of the people. It's been uh, pretty amazing, when you think? New inflation numbers came out this morning, showing inflation going up more than what economists were expecting. Do you believe there's any chance inflation gets under control between now and November? Biden has totally lost control of inflation. It's back. It's raging back. The number today was very high, very bad. It's actually much higher because they exclude various categories. It's actually much higher than that. The number is out of control. Biden has no idea what the hell he's doing. He's the worst president in the history of our country. And I have something, I have, but I have some good news. Where's Brian Jack? This is a man I've known for a long time. He's running in Georgia 3. It's going, he's going to be a fantastic congressman. District 3, Brian Jack. Very simple name. Don't put him around. You, know, you can do it either way, Jack Brian or Brian Jack. He's a great guy. I've been, he's been with me for seven years. And he's always wanted to run for Congress. And this is where he was born, where he grew up. He knows it well. He loves the people. He will be fantastic. Do you know who Brian is? You do now. Let's talk money. Money. Oh, there's another. There's another Brian. I think that case has been totally discredited. It was a, a money-making scheme on behalf of her and her lover, Wade, Mr. and Mrs. Wade. And I think the case has been totally discredited, I would hope. It seems to be. And we'll see how that and the one in New York is totally discredited. Every legal scholar said they have to. It's a horrible thing, but it's election interference. It's all run by the White House. Every one of the cases that you mentioned, as an example, Bonnie Wade, every single case is being run. Civil, criminal, it's election interference because Joe Biden can't put two sentences together. He can't find the stairs off the stage. Joe Biden is using this to try and get elected, and it's a shame. And so far, so far, it's backfiring, as you know, because we just had polls come out, and frankly, they're the best polls I've ever had. This is a disgraceful thing. This is a third world country. But that's what it is. That's what we have to put up. It's all coming out of the DOJ. A thing like this has never happened before. They're trying to protect a man who's grossly incompetent and the worst president in the history of our country. Campaign money. Money. How would you say? Uh, hold on. Hey, no, hold on. How about campaign money? He's already talked to board. How about money? Campaign money. The RNC has been trailing Democrats in campaign fundraising. You're here in Georgia to raise money. Are you going to be able to catch up to Democrats when it comes to campaign tax? Well, I'm not working very hard at the other night, which is an old time record, I can believe. I think they did 24 and we did 52, and we did it very easily. I didn't need three presidents. I did it myself. I didn't need so-called stars. We did it ourselves. Uh, the Republican Party has a lot of money coming into it. It's coming in in small donations, $61 average. Uh, we did some large donors the other night. We did. We broke the all-time record, $52 million. Uh, We don't need the money that they If you remember Hillary Clinton, I had about one-third the money that she had. And uh, uh, who won? I'm not exactly sure who won. So we don't need the same kind of money that they need. They need more money because they take care of more politicians. They handed out like it's gravy. 
And you know, when you look at what they did with Zucker Bucks and with the lock boxes and everything else, it's really a disgrace. We don't need nearly the money that they need. In Florida, as an example, I put up a very small amount of money. They put $300 million into Florida. I put peanuts into Florida, and I won by 2 million votes. So we don't need the same money that they need. Plus, I had a great four years, and Biden has one of the worst presidencies in history, it's destroying our country. Between Israel and October 7th, that should have never happened. Ukraine and Russia should have never, ever happened. That was something Russia would have never attacked Ukraine if I were president. The inflation is... Listening to former President Donald Trump there, he just landed in Atlanta for a fundraiser. He was asked about a lot of things, but really about the 1800s law that was just resurrected in Arizona. That's almost a total ban on abortion. He was asked if Arizona went too far, and he said yes. He doubled down uh, on what he announced earlier this week on his social media platform that states should regulate abortion access and not the federal government. We'll be right back.